Hi, this is Lynn Depolite with North Shore Custom Draperies with an updated video on how to make the mask. I now use the two prong fasteners. This is the fastener flattened out. This is the fastener curled in three quarters of an inch on either end. And this is what the fastener looks like when it's pinched over the bridge of the nose. These are the original two pattern pieces, two of the four, that can be found on Mask America Facebook page. You cut two pieces of the removable filter fabric and you stitch a quarter inch seam allowance. You cut two pieces of a white t-shirt fabric that has been pre-washed for shrinkage, you stitch a quarter inch seam allowance an inch and a half to two inches down. You leave a three to three and a half inch opening and you stitch the remainder quarter inch seam allowance to the end. This is the face fabric with a quarter inch seam allowance. I use a PUL, which is a washable diaper fabric. You can use any cotton or poly cotton that is um, tightly woven but breathable. Breathable being the key word there. And then I cut two nine and a half inch pieces of three eighths to quarter inch elastic. Either one will do. I use my elastic across the back of the mask because over the ear is uncomfortable for some of the nurses and doctors and this is what my daughter preferred. I pin my elastic a quarter inch down from the top and a quarter inch up from the bottom and that allows for the quarter inch seam allowance around the mask. You then pin the lining of the mask right sides together you can see here's the hole you pin it at the top and the bottom seam the middle seam and then again you would pin it right here you go ahead and make a quarter inch seam allowance around the circumference of the mask you then flip the mask inside out and you make another stitch just to reinforce that elastic into the seam on both sides. This is what it looks like on the inside with the filter placed inside. This is what it looks like on the outside. One more step. Into the bridge of the nose you take the piece that's folded on both ends and you shove it up between the seam allowance for the face and the lining and you stitch around that metal and that allows for the bridge of the nose to be pinched or cinched onto the bridge of the nose tightly forming a better seal not an N95 obviously but this is the best we can do with homemade I hope this helps you this makes it a lot faster less pieces and maybe we can put more out I went from 10 a day to 55 a day by using this updated faster method I hope it helps you too